Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, and if you're seeing this video, then that means you clicked away because you wanted to see me get a gold medal in Moon Base Galaxy, which I failed to get in my last video. And when I went back to get it just now off screen, it actually turned out to be a hell of a problem. I had to do it a few times to get it. So I figured I would just make this video to show you um, my sort of strategy for getting it down. It's not really a strategy, I guess. I just want to show you what you sort of have to be wary of. I don't know, maybe I'm just being stupid with this and I'm having a hard time with it because I'm bad at this game, but it could be hard. It just seems that there's not that many beads in this level, just out in the open, so you really got to be wary of what you're doing to do this. Alright, so one strategy that I did develop is that uh, you want to shoot these little bird guys with missiles, because if they just run into you, yeah, they'll die but they won't drop any beads. And even though they only drop a very small amount of beads, it's probably still worth it to kill them that way. And also be sure to, sh be sure to shoot their missiles, which I wasn't really doing when I went through this level the first time. And that caused me to lose a lot of beads on the way. So definitely be wary of that. And get all the beads that you can see out in the open, of course. Like, that should just be common sense by this point, I would think. I mean, this is really the last level in the, in patch land, so. If you haven't learned that by now, I don't know what to tell you. Beads are indeed important. Alright, and these little guys, I, I don't think you can get any beads from the little bomb guys. You just have to kind of shoot them and shoot them well before they get to you so that they don't explode in your face and kill you. Well, not kill. I always say kill you, but they just make you lose a lot of beads, which is not quite as good. Alright, here uh, with these, you really want to take out these turrets first thing. They take quite a few hits, like five or six or something. But you can destroy them just like that, and then you focus on the crystal in the middle here, because if you if you kill the crystal first, then the turrets don't actually die with the crystal. So the turrets will be constantly shooting you while you're trying to pick up the beads that the crystal drops. Can I get thank you? Also be sure to get all the patches, because I could not have gotten gold last time without the patches. So, there you go. Alright. And as always, just be sure not to get hit here. I recommend shooting these guys from afar because the area that you have to fight them in in the middle here, if you choose to do that, it's very restricted. It's a little restricted uh, space, so try and shoot them from behind the flamethrower if you can. God, it feels weird to be talking like this because normally I'm much more lax with my Let's Play videos, but this is, this is actually more of a strategy walkthrough-ish type video, which I normally don't do, but... For something that was kind of uh, giving me a pain, I decided to. And something that I think that I figured I probably could help people out with if they were having trouble. I decided, what the hell? Why not? All right, and as always, shoot. Yeah, see, you can always just shoot these guys for just that extra few beads that might push you over the top at the end. All right, and coming up on this again, definitely shoot at the turrets and be sure to shoot the bullets too. They don't take; they only take one hit, and they move really slowly. So that's what you should definitely do, just to avoid being hit by them, because. A wayward bolt can definitely impede your progress. The crystals themselves are no big deal at all. They, they can't do anything to you unless you probably... I don't know. I've never tried running into one, but... I'd imagine that it probably could hurt you. Alright, this section right here. This is the most pain in the ass part of it. Basically, you just kind of want to aim up at a sort of like angle like this. Just kind of interchanging angles. And try to hit as many missiles... Not as many of the meteors as possible. Because they all draw beads... I th actually, I think they stop they stop dropping beads after a certain at a certain point, but you really just want to be wary. And if you're moving forward too fast, then you might actually uh, get hit by one that you left behind and forgot to hit, or so, or something. All right, I got up to gold already. That's actually a lot better than I did my first time. Yeah, so this area right here with the meteors, it's really the key to getting beads, but it can also be the thing that kills your beads. As you can see right here, I'm taking massive damage, and losing a lot of my beads. But I still managed to get out of there with gold. So there you have it. That's how you would do it. But if you didn't manage to get out of there with the gold, that's still fine. As long as you have above silver, you should be good. Even just a little bit above silver. And then you got two more of these walls to deal with. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that can be a problem. I don't know. I don't think those two turrets in the back, I don't think you can ever destroy them. Except, I don't know, those are the only two that seem to die with the crystal that they're accompanied by. So you don't have to worry about them, because you can't hit them from this far back because the stupid wall is blocking your way. So just destroy that crystal as fast as possible, pick up the last patch, and you should be good to go. 
So even if you don't have gold by this point, like I didn't last time, uh, if you time this just right, sort of like that, you can get this. Uh, yeah. And there you go. So I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video or not. Uh, I probably will, just because I took the five minutes to make it, but... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's more of a walkthrough-ish video than you're used to from me, but... That's the way it goes. It's an optional video, at least, so you didn't have to do it. Anyways, that'll be it. So there'll be a link on screen right now to go back to the main video. And just pick up from where you left off. And other than that, thanks everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix. Signing out. Thank you, and good night.